We are headed back to Raccoon and we're gonna get dinner. I'm not really sure where we're gonna eat yet, but we will let you know as soon as we figure it out. So let's go. Pink fluffy unicorns dancing on rainbows. We're gonna try to go to this place that I looked up, uh, Taco Love. I don't know if it's gonna be any good or not, but the last time that I was in Puerto Rico, Rosie and I stopped at a food truck. I got these nachos that were super delicious. Like they had bacon and queso and beef, I think, and something else, I don't remember, but it was a lot of goodness and I ate like only part of it because it was such a big portion so I fed the other part to the cats um, but I want Chris to try it because it's super delicious but it's in a town really far from where we are uh, and it's a food truck so I'm sure that it probably moves you know what I mean who's to say it's even still in that town so we're gonna have to try a different place and I don't think that they're gonna probably have the same exact thing But maybe they'll have something similar. Hopefully. I don't know. I guess we'll see Okay, we just got back to Rincon and yes, those are actual horses like isn't that fucking awesome? So the GPS says that we've arrived, but we clearly haven't because there's nothing around here that says taco love like, we're looking all around this square. It is not here. Rosie and I got food from this place one morning for an adventure day. Okay, after walking around here for like 20 minutes and not finding anything, we decided we're gonna walk back toward where we parked. Look at the puppy. Hi, puppy. Aw, I love pups. Um, okay, so I think we have found it. It's where the awesome shark painting is, but this is totally not at all what the maps tells you like where it is. So don't listen to Google Maps or whatever the fuck that is because it will have you on the whole other side of town. So this is definitely it. Uh, thank goodness we found it because we are starving. We've had such a long adventure day. We are so happy that we found it. It had some incredible art. Like all of this is done in chalk. This is all done in chalk. Look how realistic that eye looks. Like I was so impressed with their art. Like I just love the whole little vibe of this place. Like it's so hippie out and just like chill. Like I bet all of these people are probably stoners. Like I would probably get along with all these people. We could get stoned and eat tacos together. I would be just a-okay with that. Like yes yes oh my goodness Chris got his food way before I got my food and he was like it is so good so then I'm like waiting and waiting and waiting for my food but it's okay they were really busy and they make everything by hand like they cut the tortillas and then fry those tortillas and make them into chips and all of that and this girl in line I love her little outfit um Anyways, so yeah, my food is finally here. I'm so excited to try it. I particularly don't like cilantro, so I just kind of like took that off. But these are my nachos. They are so much healthier like than the ones that I was talking about earlier uh, that I had with Rosie the last time. Like, this is like the healthiest nacho I've ever, ever put in my mouth. I'm pretty sure of it. And it's super delicious, so yep. Thank you, Taco Love. You're amazing. He's <laughs> almost finished with his. Um, I've barely made a dent in mine, so he's going to help me finish mine, which I think we really should just order one thing and share it when we go out because I never really eat very much of mine, and he always has to finish mine, so it's like he has to eat double the meal. I think I've ever had in my life and the nachos I was talking about earlier um, this is like way healthier and probably like way more flavorful um, the other nachos were like really like fatty like meat and cheese and this is like really like healthy and clean tasting you know what I mean like totally different types of nachos 
Okay, we are just now getting back to the Airbnb. As you can tell by looking at me, like we've had a really long day. We were doing all of that hiking and getting caught in the storm and being blown around by the wind. Chris is getting our shoes and stuff out of the trunk. Um, dinner was super ridiculously delicious, uh, but that's no surprise because pretty much everything that is on this island as far as food is delicious, or at least from my experience. Um, I am happy to be back to the Airbnb. Uh, I'm really tired. I just want to take a shower and go right to sleep. Um, I'm actually putting all of my stuff on chargers, like all my batteries for tomorrow's adventure. Look at how much sun I got today. Can you see the sun marks? Like, oh, all right. I'll see you guys tomorrow.